female has a main three stages in their life first is period second is pregnancy third is menopause these three main stages of females change their female's body a lot even physically or even mentally so today's session is all about physical and mental fitness at same time it will help us to get fit mentally and physically let's start the session let's get started now make a comfortable gap between your legs almost a half width gap between your between your both legs fix your both hands by the side smile on your face let's get started let's make ourselves physically and mentally fit so start moving your waist side front side and back 20 clockwise and 20 anti clockwise this movement it's one of the warm up movement at same time it will help us to increase the blood circulation to the sides belly at the same time help us to release the entire back keep moving your waist try to draw a big zero with your waist this movement will help you to increase or give the very nice stretching to the entire belly and sides it improve the function of entire belly improve digestion improve the metabolic rate keep moving your waist anti clockwise 20 times breath should be normal try to sink your breath with your body movement try to feel the proper stretching while you moving your waist front as we discussed that female has a main three stages period time pregnancy time and a menopause time so all these asanas of today's series will really help you to balance out the hormones and we will get physically and mentally fit now body at center relax yourself comfortable gap between your legs a more than shoulder level a more than hip width now heels toes parallel with each other fix your right hand by the side of your right side open your fingers proper distance between your right hand bring your left arm up just over your head stay here exhale do with breathing exhale stretch your arm and lean your body down stay here hold and feel the stretching to the side inhale come to the center and hand down let's do with the other side inhale bring your right arm up exhale stretch your right side stay here for few seconds or according to your capacity activate your entire side and back it will help us to reduce the weight this is called triyaktadasan a supported triyaktadasan or simple side stretching it activates the entire sides and help us to tone the entire sides help us to burn the calories or let's make the sides in shape come back lift your opposite arm up exhale and down let's do it a 15 times stretch your both sides inhale and exhale hand down lift your left arm up finger should be on activation mode exhale lean your body down switch your side now feet together close your eyes and rest let's start the other asana here we are going to do the second asana this is called tadasana tadasana is a really very helpful if you are in periods or uh, you can do in pregnancy also if you are cross your menopause even you can do the tadasana three stages and single asana fit at these three stages so feet together let's make ourselves physically and mentally fit interlock your fingers with each other turn your palms outside lock your elbows with each other inhale lift your arms just over your head lift your heels up 
Balance out your body and bring your eyeballs to the one point. Keep stretching your arms out. Try to tuck and tighten your entire core and stay here for five to six seconds. If you can hold long, then hold long. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, try to sink your heels and arms together. Inhale, arms and heels up. Balance your body. Stretch all the way up. Exhale and slowly down. If it's getting hard to balance the body, then draw a comfortable distance between your leg and do the without raising heels up. Palms outside. Inhale, arms up. Hold and keep stretching your arms or maximum up. Stay here and bring your eyeballs to the one point or you can do the Nasa Gradhristi. Bring your eyeballs to your nose tip. Hands down. Let's do two more times. Inhale and Tadasana, arms up. Activate and give the nice and deep stretching to the entire body. This Tadasana will help us to balance the hormones of the body and help us to make the belly, chest and arms in shape. Exhale and down, last and final time. Inhale, lock out, arms up. Stretch and try to provide the proper space to the belly and keep press your arms a little bit back to just for giving the space for your thoracic. Stay here, hold here, smile on your face. Keep stretching all the way up. Exhale and release your hands. Take a short break. Hands here, relax. Let's do the small sequence of asanas and this small sequence of asanas will really help us to make ourselves physically and mentally fit. Most of the time females are suffering from stress, tension and they always worry about overweight. So this small series of asanas will really help you to lose the weight and let's tone the entire muscle of the body. Come top side of your mat, comfortable gap between your legs. If someone suffering from high BP or if you are an asthmatic patient, then do with precautions or under guidance. Join your palms with each other, comfortable gap between your fingers. Let's do the Surya Namaskar. Surya Namaskar is a complete series in its own and it's give the entire a stretching to the entire body and muscles. Inhale, let's do the Hastotanasan. Tighten your hips and back. Go back according to your capacity. Don't go too much back. Try to feel your belly, your chest and keep pressing your arms back. Exhale, forward fold Padastasan. Again, if someone has serious back ache, then don't do forward fold. You can hold till 90 degree. Stay here for a few seconds. This asana will help us to reach the blood flow to the head, which will help us to balance the hormones. Decrease the stress level. Bend your knees. Step by step back. No need to make it rush. Feet together, heels together. No need to press the heels too much down. If you're feeling comfortable, then only press your heels down. If you are not feeling fine with the heels, then heels up and press your upper body back. If someone has high BP, avoid this. Stay here. Hold here. Press your upper body back. Now, tuck your knees, chest, chin down to the mat. Stay here at Astanga Namaskar. Touch your belly on the mat. Inhale, lift your body up, front body up. Bhujangasana. Take the knees apart. Slowly taking the knees apart, tuck your feet inside and lift your knees up in air. Stay here. Hold. Don't do rush. Bend your knees, your left leg forward and then your right leg forward. Join your palms. Inhale, wide your hands. Inhale and backward bending Hastottanasana. Exhale and Namaskar. Let's do two more times. Inhale and Hastottanasan. Hold here for a few seconds. Try to stretch your front body and do the contraction to the back. Exhale, Padastasan. If it's getting hard for you, then simply hold here. 
Only have three breaths. Three, two, one. Bend your knees. Your fingers should be on activation mode. Step by step back. Parvatasana. No need to press the heels too much down. Make your body in knees. If when you're feeling unease, then you can bend the knees even. It's completely fine. You should be comfortable while you're doing the series. Now, your knee, chest, chin down to the mat, your knees, then your chest, and then your chin. Hand should be here. Elbows are not pointing outside. Inhale, flatten your feet. Up and come to the cobra pose, Bhujangasana. Stay here for a few seconds, hold and feel the proper stretching to your belly, which improve the digestion, regulate the function of belly, increase the metabolic rate, and better the function of insulin level. Bend your knees step by step forward, body front, padastasan, slow, easy, and try to connect your breath with your body. Namaskar. Wide your hands in England. Back has totanasan. Backward bending. Namaskar in front. Let's do last and final round. Make yourself aligned and light. You should be positive. You should be energetic. Inhale, open your fingers. Inhale and backward bending has totanasan. Exhale, spine straight, your back straight. Fix your hands on the ground. If you're not feeling comfortable with the Padastasan, or some, if someone has serious back ache, then even you can do with a knee band, like that. It's fine. Step by step back. The Surya Namaskar series will really help you. Series will really help you to get right from overweight. Stay here for a few seconds. Even you can bend the knees, just according to your comfort. Your knee chest in down to the mat. Touch your lower belly down. If someone has lower back ache, then you can do the Bhujangasana with wider legs. Wide your legs from the back. Inhale up to the cobra. When we wide the legs, we start feeling a less pressure on the back. Take knee support. Feet together. Parvatasana. There should be a proper distance between your hands and feet. Bend your knees in step by step forward. Stay here with a knee, knee fold, otherwise a knee straight. You can hold here at, with a knee band, with straight legs, Padastasana, or even you can grab the knees or shin according to your comfort. Inhale and Hastatanasana, stretch your body back. Feel the proper stretching to your body. Namaskar. Analyze your body, bring your entire focus on your own body. And relax. Let's start now. Go back, come front of your mat, and at the same time, middle of the mat. Let's do the other asana. How this asana helps females to reduce the weight and in balancing of hormones. So, let me tell you next, we are going to do the triangle pose. Triangle pose is really helpful to activate and massage the entire inner thighs, pelvis area, lower belly, central belly as well. So let's do it and let's make the sides in shape with the triangle pose. So wide your legs first, comfortable gap between your both legs, heels, toes parallel with each other in a starting and how to measure that your posture is right. Now go back side of your mat. Be here at the edge of the mat, heels, toes parallel, hands should be here, turn your right toes outside, align your heel and your right feet. Now open your hands, hands should be shoulder level, open your fingers, turn your palms front facing, exhale, lean your body down, try to touch the mat if possible for you, just behind your right feet, stay here. If, if you're feeling comfortable and easy, then you can turn the neck up to the sky. Hold, stay and feel the proper stretching to the side or even to the front leg. Try to divide the proper equal weight on your both legs. If you're not feeling comfortable with the triangle pose, then you can take shin support. Then gently get back, hands here, hands down, 
rotate your right toes inside and rotate your left feet toes outside. So let me tell you one thing, while you're doing triangle pose, don't do it like that. That don't tilt your pelvis, don't move your waist in this direction. It should be front facing. It should be front. So let's do the opposite hand. Hand here, open your fingers, exhale, lean your body to the left side, go down, touch your hand just behind your left feet, turn your neck up, align your both shoulders in line, hold and try to feel the stretching to the entire left leg and to your side. Gently get back, release your hands. Let's do final two more times. Tuck your left toes inside and your right toes pointing outside. Open your hands, shoulder level, palm facing front. Exhale, lean your body down. If you're comfortable with the shin, then simply grab your shin, draw your shoulders in line and open your heart. Let the blood moving to the side and to the head. Stay here. If you're feeling comfortable with leaning body down to the triangle and then simply hold here. Come back. Last and final time, right toes inside, hands down, left toes outside. Exhale, lean your body down, grab your shin first. If you're feeling comfortable, then go down and hold here. Breath should be normal, keep breathing. Inhale and center. Turn your toes inside, hands here by the side. Try to feel the proper impact by the side and towards your inner thighs. This asana will really help us to massage the lower organs of the body and it improve the function of blood circulation around the ovaries or near reproductive system. Hold in the legs. Open your eyes. Now come back. Let's move to the other asana. Take left turn and go back side of your mat, open your both legs, legs straight. Now, this asana is really very helpful to increase the blood circulation, massage the entire belly. At the same time, it will help us to strengthen the entire lower body. So, let's do this asana and this asana is really very helpful for females. Now, heels together, feet together, stretch your toes inside, Hand should be here by the side, open your fingers on the mat. Comfortable seated. If you're not feeling comfortable, then you can use pillow or blanket just under the hips, just for the comfortable sitting. So, hand should be here. Lift and rotate your shoulders up and back, spine upright. Stay here, hold and try to tighten your thighs as much as you can. Stay hold, try to hold for 10 breaths or according to your capacity. Try to lengthen your spine, try to lengthen your entire back, upward, hold. Rotate and keep pressing your shoulders back. Now gently take support from the back, tap your thighs on the floor, relax your thighs. Okay, let's move ahead. For next asana, next we are going to do the Janushri asana. Janushri asana is really very helpful to increase the blood circulation in a lower portion of the body. At the same time, it increase the blood circulation to the upper body as well. Let's do Janushri asana now. Fold your left leg and fix your left leg by the side of your right leg thigh root. Now, go back side of your mat, fix your left leg completely and it should be close to your right thigh. Bring your both arms up, stretch your body up, exhale, lean your body down, grab your feet, touch your feet and do not hunch your back. Try to straight your spine as much as you can. Smile, hold for 10 breaths, 10 seconds and try to feel the stretching to the entire leg. Hold, stay. If you can lean your body down, then go completely down if possible for you. You can touch the chin even. If it's hard, then simply grab the shin, that's fine. Arms up. Release your hands by the side. If someone has serious back end, 
then do use the pillow under the hips then you can do it otherwise do under under guidance let's do with the other leg straight your both legs then dasan first and then fold your right leg and fix it at the root of your left leg thigh stretch your left toes inside inhale bring your arms up exhale lean your body down try to the head to toe janushri asana touch your forehead down if possible otherwise you can touch the chin if it's getting hard then simply grab the shin and hold here then breath keep breathing and bring your focus on your breathing disconnect yourself with the outer world relax hold and feel stretching to the entire left leg come back and release your hands straight your legs now simply cross your legs with each other next we are going to do the counter pose of a janushri asana so what is the counter pose of janushri asana we are going to do the purvottanasana purvottanasana is really very good in balance the hormones at same time it improves the blood circulation to the heart and lungs which improve the capacity of lungs and heart okay so how to do this asana simply sit in dandasana first open your legs in front of the body stretch your toes inside now take your both hands just behind your back or hips fingers pointing inside most important thing now simply stretch your toes outside lift your entire center body up in air inhale and do with breathing inhale lift your center body up turn your head back and hold at purvottanasan fix your hips on the ground let's do the ones exhale simply touch your shin spine up right straight up straight your entire back keep grabbing your shin hold here keep stretching your toes inside let's do the last and final time inhale arms up rotate them and fix your hands just behind your back last and final time purvottanasan lift your center body up exhale fix your hips on the ground now simply cross your legs and sit in sukhasan we are done with the physical workout let's come to the mental health now spine upright your body should be straight touch your first and your thumb with each other your first finger and thumb with each other fix your both hands on your knees with a gyana mudra relax your shoulders Let's do the Kapalabhati. Kapalabhati is really very good to improve the blood circulation and it's help us to detoxify the body, which help us to balance the hormones of the body, which will decrease the fluctuations of hormones. So, hands in Jana Mudra, close your eyes and forcefully exhale through your nostrils and try to use your belly walls while you're exhaling your breath outside. So, how to do this? Let's do the 15 strokes. Never do 100 or more than 100. Do according to your capacity. Maximum you can go till 50, not more than 50. That's completely fine. Don't go beyond 50. So today we will practice a 15 times. Find up right. Inhale through your nostrils. and relax let's relax our mind and let's try to find out the shanti around us block your ears and press fingers on your face three times a brahmi pranayam try to create a humming sound for your throat inhale
Turn your palms, warm your palms with each other, warming and pray the heat towards your palms. Try to collect all the positive energies, positive vibes around your palms. Try to make a cup of your palms, touch your eyes simply, do not press them, then your face and say I am fit and positive. Again, warm your palms and do the dry friction of your body. Keep looking down to the mat. Open your eyes and collect all the negativity. And clean your hands with the left side and feel like you're throwing all the negativity outside. Twist your spine side to side. Come to the neutral position. On this note, my name is Poli Parihar and you are learning with Siddhi Yoga. Hope you like the video. Share your experience with us. Thank you so much.